actual test curves, as you see in the, the points is shown, these are the actual test sets that are measured by the test equipment using the actual relay, which you can bring into STAR and compare this against the published manufacturer curve. You can use this for historical evaluation of drift of the relay, for response of the relay, or you can use the same curve for doing your coordination studies, whichever you choose. You can show them as points, you can show them as lines, and so forth and so on. And you can have this for every relay in your system. Uh, you can um, basically take this information, put it on your laptop, go out to the field or to your maintenance uh, uh, shop and test the relay, bring the data back to the engineering side, or if you have a uh, network set up for ETAB, you can bring that data, have that access to the program for seeing that actual test set um, inputs versus the manufacturer published data. So it's another feature or another uh, capability within ETAB that is provided. So um, this, I hope this gave you a quick overview. We uh, didn't really cover a lot of the information, but this is the basic information you need. Of course, ETAP comes with quite extensive library that you can go in there and add your own libraries of devices. If you want to add your own relays, you can access the library, add the manufacturer models you wish, but that could be uh, enough different topic for another webinar. Um, I appreciate your time, and I'm going to pass it to James. Thank All right. You. We've gotten a, um, a couple of questions in from the audience, and... Uh, our tech support here has been answering away, but a couple of questions that I saw repeated multiple times, Shervin, is uh, people had quick questions about what was specific to 5.5 um, .5 versus 5.03, uh, like in, yeah. so if you want to just cover briefly those. Uh, well, I covered some of them as we discussed, but the, the main item that, uh, that uh, makes a difference uh, in, in this release is um, on start is the plot options and the capability of showing normalized TCCs onto your uh, one line onto your star views. Um, just again to walk through some of the features, if I was to take a portion of my system and create a new star, on plot options we added some features such as uh, sequencing of colors which I discussed so you can have different colors for different the same curves uh, repeated multiple times on the same TCC. Um, so that was one of the changes. We added some minor changes for being able to adding extending the curve um, for the relay onto the top of the pick pickup so you can apply that and you can see this relay curve being connected onto the top so those are some options that uh, some of the users were asking for um, on the star view itself we provided tools uh, such as the crosshair so you can actually select um, the crosshair as I discussed and you can move the crosshair as tracking the curve or you can use it as an independent curve so that was another feature was, which was added we enhanced some of the alerts we enhanced some of the reports um, the normalized TCC, as I discussed, the capability of being able to actually normalize your TCC based on a study that you did on sequence of operation and be able to see what happens with the actual curve uh, given the true-false that it sees is a new capability which was added to really the sequence of operation. And, of course, the ETAP Arts interface, which we briefly discussed, is a new feature of ETAP uh, STAR. Um, libraries, of course, uh, there was quite an extensive addition to the libraries that was done. Um, the, we added a number of uh, relays, and we are continuing to adding it. By the way, one of the things I do want to mention is we have a quite extensive library list, but they, if there happen to be uh, an item in um, our library that you wish to see, which we don't have, you can simply contact our support line. We try to add those libraries as quick as we can. Typically, it takes us about three days. You have the means of adding the library yourself, but we want to make sure our program is up to date. And libraries are independent of ETAP release from the point of view that you can always get the library from us and merge it into the library. Uh, the other feature that was added uh, uh, was also the user curve, which um, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this, but the user curve is basically simply adding your own curves, either the, uh, a single curve or multi-curve or a single curve with a tolerance, and you can add it to the library, and uh, that was another feature that was added. All right. Well, at this point, I see that we're right at noon, and I think we know in order to keep things on schedule, we better uh, cut things to a close. We might have time for maybe just one more question, um, and um, what, is, what about the uh, well, one question we're getting is about motor starting, the curve shown in the star view. Right. This was an existing feature in ETAP. Uh, if you have a motor that you want to do a uh, motor starting study, uh, you have two options. You can plot the motor, and it simply plots the motor. And let me go ahead and switch it to the constant terminal. There's a constant terminal option, which is, uh, let me set that up, uh, which basically what it does, it brings the, uh, looks at the lock rotor and the full load amp 
as specified in the nameplate and the model page and uses that to draw this curve. The time that's shown in here, the acceleration time, is the time that you specify on their, the load model page as the uh, full load or no load times. Um, in addition, you have the rotor, um, uh, rotor limit curve, which is uh, also shown using this option for hot or cold stall, and you can specify that amount from the manufacturer. Um, you can show by uh, the symmet asymmetrical or the dog leg that you see down here by a factor, and these are ex existing features. Uh, you can include the effect of the starting device if you have an auto transformer or whatever type of starting device in ETAP that you specify. You can include that effect onto your uh, one line, onto your starting curve, and uh, you can make this edge smooth or not. But you also have the capability of bring in your motor acceleration study. So if, let's say I've done this motor acceleration study, which I've done this study back in 629, 2006, I can select from my study reports, and it could be a number of them, I just did one, and I can actually use that curve to display in here, and you see this is my constant terminal, and this red one is in the study that was done using the motor acceleration study. And simply all you do is you do your motor acceleration study, you go to that motor and you select to show that study results onto your star. Um, in the future, what we're planning to do is also add some more capability for you to um, add the, the, the motor curve at different voltages. So you can add simultaneously show the 80% voltage, 100% voltage, 90% voltage on the, for the same motor um, with one, edit, one editor. So that's a new feature that we're adding in the next release of ETAP. So there are quite a number of enhancements that we're adding to it, but uh, feel free to, to send us a list of information about what you'd like to see in ETAP and especially ETAP Star, and uh, we make sure that we evaluate them for the next release.